Welcome to Scenorama TV, I'm Miss Kelly. Today, Papa Tom is going to show us some simple techniques on how to create a cave. He'll be using our Scenorama Mountain Diorama Kit and a Scenorama Project Basin Backdrop. Some additional things you'll need are some scissors, a hobby knife, some masking tape, newspaper, and some water. Now, let's go check out Papa Tom and see how to make a cave. Today's project is we're making a cave. Something you've been waiting for and it's a lot of fun, guys. I mean, this one you're going to be thrilled with. We've gotten a hold of a base that we're going to be putting it on, as you see right here, and it comes with a backdrop that we're going to be using. And we'll put that aside because it's a little bit large the way it is right now, so we're going to have to cut it down a little bit. Did you know there are four main types of caves? Solution caves are the largest and most common, but there are also lava caves, sea caves, and glacier caves. You can see how this fits in together here. The backdrop goes in, and we'll drop a front end piece here. And this is the profile board that we're going to be using in here. And we'll be cutting that down so that we've got a third side, or the fourth side rather, for the front of it. Now this will give you what you need to create the interior structure of the cave itself in here. And before we go to assemble this, remember I just said we want that water going into like a back cavern. So what I think we should do is just kind of draw on here, a oh, spot here in the back where we want that back cavern to be so that we have some place for that river to go into. And before we assemble it, We'll just go ahead and take this and paint that on there because it'd be a whole lot easier to do it now while it's flat. And then we'll clean this out. We'll set this aside to dry for a little bit. Let's go check on our backboard now. It should be dry. As you can see, that's what we painted earlier. And we're going to put the project glue down inside there. Push it into place. And we're ready to help it along just a bit with some tape here and there. Now we're ready for the interior part. So I'm going to put a little cement on the back here and I'll tape it as well. And of course the last one is the front piece. So again, let's give it a little bit of the project glue in there and put it in place and tape that in the inside portions. And now we've got the structure together, we're ready to start filling it full of uh, paper wads to create the hillside that we want. Okay, we got our paper ready. And I took the liberty to put in a little bit more of the profile board that we had in the kit and just put a nice little ramp for that water to sit on that's nice and flat. So we've got a flat surface to work off because the rest of it's gonna be really bumpy with the paper. Let's take a sheet of paper and roll it into itself all the way around and you see it makes a nice little pillow when you're done. Wedge them where we want them and run a little piece of tape to hold them in position. Did you know caves have been used throughout history for shelters and religious rituals? The Great Cave of Nia in Malaysia has evidence of human life from over 40,000 years ago. So what you're doing with the tape is not only holding the pieces in place, but you're also creating a lip for your plaster cloth to rest on when you put it around the edges here. Now one of the other things that I do as well for small little spots is I'll take some paper towel and wad it up to use as a little fill-in. Okay, I've propped it up a little bit so you can see a little better here. We're going to do the interiors. Okay, we're ready to start our plastering. And all you do is just run it through the water like that. Don't let it sit in there for a long period of time. And lay it over and then back it up again so that you've got a little bit of a nice clean edge over here. 
cut strips of plaster cloth in manageable pieces of four to eight inches, or even smaller for tighter areas on your diorama. And then just smooth that out. You put the bumpy side of the plaster up so that you've got a lot of plaster here to work with. This is really exciting part, guys, because now you get to see it all take shape right in front of your eyes. Apply multiple layers of plaster cloth to your project to give it the strength that it will need. So you can see this better and make it even easier. We're going to take it and spin it around and lay it down and continue on the interior now and get it all done 